Hi, I'm Tamar, and welcome to Glendale's Look Ahead, covering city meetings and events scheduled for this coming week. A listing of these meetings with live air and replay times can be found on DTV6's website, glendale.tv, and on the bulletin board airing daily on Charter Channel 21. Please note that some of these meetings may be canceled or postponed after the original posting. To confirm, visit the city's website, ci glendale.ca.us or call the department responsible for that particular meeting. On Monday, October 28th, the Historic Preservation Commission will meet at 2 p.m. in room 105 of the Municipal Services Building. For details, please call 818-548-2140. At 6 p.m., the Transportation and Parking Commission will meet in City Council Chambers. To learn more, please call 818 818- 548-3900. On Tuesday, October 29th, there will be a meeting of the Housing Authority at 3 p.m. Immediately after will be a joint meeting of the City Council and Successor Agency, followed by a special meeting of the City Council. That evening, the City Council will hold their regular evening meeting at 6 p.m. Tuesday's meetings will all take place in City Council chambers. For housing issues, please call 818 818- Five four eight two zero six zero. For council business, please call 818-548-4844. On Wednesday, October 30th, the planning hearing officer will meet at 9.30 a.m. in room 105 of the Municipal Services Building. To learn more, please call 818-548-2140. That afternoon, the Community Development Advisory Committee will hold a special meeting in City Council Chambers beginning at 2.30 p.m. For details, please call 818-548-2000. On October 31st, the Arts and Culture Commission will meet at 2 p.m. in Council Chambers. To learn more, please call 818-548-2030. The 31st is also Halloween. Drivers, please be extra cautious on roadways, as there will be many of Glendale's little monsters out and about in the early evening hours. Parents, be sure to collect costumes that are bright and reflective and properly fit your children to prevent from tripping. Also, when trick-or-treating, be sure to take a flashlight with new batteries to help illuminate walkways. The City of Glendale wishes you a spectacular evening. On Friday, November 1st, as at the beginning of every month, the City Connection newsletter will be sent out. If you have not signed up for the free email, be sure to do so before Friday to receive our monthly update to keep you informed. The newsletter includes events, safety tips, and upcoming or recently completed improvement projects in your neighborhood. Learn more and sign up at ci.glendale.ca.us slash Glendale City Connection. You can also stay connected with Glendale's exciting news, photos, and events by following My Glendale on Twitter, Facebook, and now Instagram. On Saturday, November 2nd, join the Glendale Parks and Open Space Foundation for their first interpretive program on the Glendale Narrows River Walk. The early bird catches a worm and the winter birds program will begin at 7 a.m. at 300 Paula Avenue for a walk with Raul Roa, bird watcher and photographer. Find out which birds are in this area for the next few months and practice your observation skills. Please bring binoculars, a bird identification book and a camera. The program is free, but requires reservation, so please call 818-548-3795. Also on the 2nd, a number of local and regional partners will present the 2013 Glendale Health Festival from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Glendale Civic Auditorium. The free event will provide medical screenings to all participants. Take advantage of this amazing program to meet with specialty physicians, receive flu shots, and information on nutrition, diabetes, heart disease, and new insurance exchange and the expanded Medi-Cal program. For more information, please call 818-980-7777. That's it for this week's edition of Glendale's Look Ahead. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.